All right. Happy Tuesday, Doc Robin here. This is your weekly energy update. We are inside the Becoming the Channel Insiders podcast group. I'm so glad to be here with you. If you're here with me live, say hi in the comments so I can say hi back. If you are watching the recording, do the same thing because I love to come back in and, and say hello and see who's see who's watching and who's participating in these in these weekly updates. If you are new to my community, and there are so many of you who are, I want to just say welcome to you. I think that it's so exciting to see all the new faces and to feel the enthusiasm that you have and the curiosity that you have about becoming the channel, especially about becoming the channel to wealth consciousness. You know, in this day and in this time of spiritual mastery, of ascension, it's no longer viable for us to ignore conversations and our relationship with money and wealth. It is really the missing link to the ascension process for a lot of spiritual entrepreneurs, leaders, and CEOs. And it's one thing that I'm very committed to sharing my perspective on now and in the future through the Becoming the Channel podcast and through, by the way, the masterclass that I'm hosting this afternoon on Tuesday, April 11th at 3 p.m. Pacific time. It is on channeling wealth consciousness code. So I'm going to be talking you through six or seven different frequencies of wealth consciousness that you can learn how to channel. I'm going to talk about my practices that I use to, to channel wealth consciousness and the results that you can expect uh, when you start consistently channeling wealth consciousness as well. It's going to be so much easier and feel so much better to call in new clients, to find new aligned opportunities when you're channeling wealth consciousness. And that's what we're teaching about this afternoon in the, the uh, masterclass. So if you haven't gotten your ticket yet, I want you to do that. You can go to channelingwealth.eventbrite.com and get your ticket. And by the way, for those of you who have been asking, yes, there's going to be a recording. The recording will be sent out within the next 24 hours to everybody who's got a ticket. So you'll have that in your, in your library forever and ever, as long as you want it, you can download it and keep it in your library and listen to it again and again. But if I think that it's just as a really important step to take if you are on the journey of ascension and you're wanting to learn more about wealth consciousness and channeling those higher frequencies for prosperity on all levels to be there at that class or to listen to the recording. Okay, so today during the energy updates, just FYI, I channel um, my guides. They're here with me. I've called them in already. And we're going to talk about the energies and the frequencies this week that are available to us to be supportive of us. One of my, the people that I follow on Instagram, one of the astrologers said that tomorrow, the 12th and the 13th are some of the most powerful days of the year in terms of something conjoining with something else. I'm not an astrologer clearly, but I can feel it. I can feel that there's a big energetic shift. It's palpable right now. And today I'm going to be using the Astral Realms Crystal Oracle to guide us. The crystals are something that I love to use and to talk about. I actually wrote a book, a, ch a channeled chapter in a book I contributed to that is launching on Friday, all about crystals and the frequencies that can be supportive of wealth consciousness. So you'll want to stay tuned for that as well. All right, so let's just tune in here and see what cards are going to come up for us that'll be supportive of us this week. Okay, Got that one. The Lemurians are known for their crystalline technologies and I work with the Lemurian High Council. Um, they're some of my favorite beings to communicate with. They've given me four cards today, so let's see what we've got. Okay, so the first card that they're showing me is the card for empathy, it's Rose Quartz. So creating and sustaining empathy for yourself, for other people, to be able to walk in other people's shoes without taking on their energy, to be able to take their perspective without simultaneously taking their energy is, is a, an advanced skill that I believe emotionally intelligent, spiritually intelligent leaders must learn. 
One of the things that we never learn when we're kids and are emotionally intelligent is that just because you feel something doesn't mean it's actually yours. So this is a matter of discernment to be able to really check in with yourself and ask, is what I'm feeling mine or is it somebody else's? And if it's somebody else's, you can let it go. You can still empathize for them. You can still be understanding of them, but there's no need to take on their emotions. There is no need to process their emotions because you simply cannot. And by the way, you don't need to rescue them either. This is a very big paradigm shift that we're entering into. We're entering into a paradigm shift that looks like this. The old world was victim, persecutor, rescuer. The new world, the new earth that we are creating is creator, coach, and challenge. So when you're encountering somebody and you feel or experience empathy for their circumstances or for their perspective, know that simultaneously you do not have to rescue them. You may not even have to coach them. You can just be in their presence and witness their experience without having to change it in any way, without having to fix it or them, but just to be able to stand in your own truth and understanding of who they are, of what they're, what's going on with them. And this is especially important, I think, in, in our relationships with our generation, with Gen X and the millennials, but then the next generation as well, the children that are being, are coming up right now, the star seeds and those who are spiritually intelligent, but are also very influenced by what's going on in culture to express empathy, to express, to have an empathic perspective on somebody else's lived experience, I think is the greatest gift that we can give each other. It's something that we all have to practice, isn't it? So that's the first energy, the first frequency that's coming through. That empathy frequency runs on rose quartz. Rose quartz is one of my favorite crystals. I've got one right here. Let me see if I can reach it. I'm 100% sure that I got this from a rose quartz mine in the Black Hills of South Dakota, which is where I grew up. See how pretty that is? There's our rose quartz, empathy. So that's the first frequency that comes through today. The second one is Jupiter um, is the planet. This is for curiosity. And the, the crystal is I don't know how to say this word, a popfolite. A popfolite, I think is how you say it. But this is the, the perspective that we're wanting to take in addition to empathy is one of curiosity. To just be curious about your own experiences, to be curious about other people's experiences, and to use any challenge that you encounter as an opportunity to wonder about it. To adopt the attitude of curiosity changes your perspective and it opens up the field of infinite possibilities to you. If you're not curious, if you don't wonder what's going on with yourself or with other people, maybe it's time to do that. Maybe it's time to breathe new life into your goals and into the vision that you have for yourself. If, you, if your life is devoid of curiosity, now is the time to activate that. Now, I know that the people who are in my sphere those of you who are in the Insiders Facebook group for the podcast, those of you who are listening to the podcast, you have a natural, cre uh, natural curiosity about you. But let's just amplify it this week. Be curious about any challenge or any apparent barrier that comes your way and look at it as an invitation to deepen into your purpose, to deepen into your mission, to deepen into your strengths, to activate some of these latent abilities that are coming online, latent abilities like telepathy, like shape-shifting, like teleportation, like instant manifestation. Use the challenges that come forward this week as an invitation rather than looking at them as a barrier. Oh, and speaking of perspective, we have Larimar that's come forward. And of course, this is all about perspective. This is... a. I think that the overriding theme this week is take perspective without getting run over by it, without getting run over by other people's perspective, without getting run over by your own perspective or led around by like a ring in your nose by your perspective. This is the only way to see things when in fact there are infinite perspectives 
infinite angles that you can take when you're encountering something that you perceive as a problem or a challenge. The perspective, the curiosity, the empathy, these are going to be the gifts this week in anything that you encounter. The last one is calcite which is the transition, the frequency of transition. We are making a leap right now. We're making a leap into the next phase of the year. We're making a leap into the next phase or chapter of our lives as well. And you can, by the way, you can make a leap anytime you want to, anytime you choose to, it starts with a decision. But as you are in transition, please know this, you don't have to go into healing crisis. You don't have to create a lot of drama in order to go through a transition. You can just decide I'm transitioning and transition and be on the other side of it before you know it. There's a lot of freedom and understanding that you are actually empowered to make your own transition whenever you desire to. You don't have to wait for somebody else to tell you to go. You don't have to wait for the stars to be in alignment. You get to decide. As the center of your universe, you get to decide when and how you make the transitions. I like to make my transitions as easily and as joyfully as possible. That being said, when we make transitions into up levels, so when you've just hit a big goal in your business or you've just had a new experience that tops anything you've ever encountered before, chances are quite good on the other side of it. There's going to be a little bit of a lag and there can even be a a rebound or a, a contraction almost, right? One of my old mentors used to say, with every level, there's a new devil, right? There's a new challenge that comes forward. But again, what's on the other side of the challenge is something even greater than you could have hoped for or imagined. When you look at the challenge as an invitation, what's on the other side of this challenge? It can be about your schedule. It can be about burnout. It can be about relationship issues, whatever is coming up for you as a big challenge right now, again, looking at it as an invitation to transition, using curiosity, using empathy, using your perspective as the bridge to what's next, without being trapped in the conundrum of, I don't know what to do, or contracting into the way things were in the past. Because here's the thing, when you're in transition, you can't actually go back. You, you just can't. You can't unknow what you've already learned. You can't go back. We can try. You can try to go back to sleep. But even if you go back to sleep, you still know what you know what you know. You can't unknow something that you have already experienced, witnessed, or become aware of. Okay. And let me just see here. There's one other thing that wants to come forward. Hang on. And the last this week is about following our intuition. And we can activate that on the frequency of aquamarine. Aquamarine is a water element. Having our intuition purified, having our intuition clarified so that it is a straight arrow. This is very important this week, leaning into your intuition, even when it doesn't make sense to your logical mind, leaning in and saying yes, and seeing what happens next, making the decision and moving immediately following the decision. One of the reasons that you're having a hard time unfurling your dreams is because even though you know what to do, there is a lag between the knowing and the doing. So when you close the gap between the knowing what to do and the actual doing of it, that is going to speed up the process of unfurling the dreams that you have for yourself, for your business, for your life. All right. I hope that you found this helpful. If you did, it would really help me out a lot. If you would leave a comment, let me know what your number one takeaway was for this particular energy update make sure to subscribe to the podcast. I just did an amazing podcast last week on dreams in the ascension process. Dreams are not just 
what Freud said they were, the royal road to the unconscious. I believe that there's another level to dreams that it's important to start talking about right now, especially for those of us on the ascension path. Listen to that podcast, subscribe to the podcast so you don't miss another episode. And it would, I think, help a lot of people if after you listened, if you'd leave a review and share the podcast with your communities. This is something that we are wanting to create as a grassroots movement. Becoming the channel is something that is just so magnetic and it's just a beloved podcast already to so many people, including me and probably you as well. So thank you for being part of our community here at the Insiders Group. Thank you for being with me today. And I hope to see you this afternoon uh, at the masterclass, the Channeling Wealth Consciousness Codes Masterclass. It's at 3 p.m. We'll put the link to register in the comments. And remember, there will be a recording. So I will see you soon. Big love.